Thank you for joining me again in a brand new video and welcome back. Today I am going to do this date night spring grungy makeup tutorial. So I'm starting off with the eyeshadow primer and I use the I Heart Essence from Ulta. And I'm setting that with the NYX banana powder. You can use any flesh tone powder you have. So for the brow bone um, highlights, I'm going to use Makeup Geek's Peach Smoothie. And then I'm going to start off with the transition shade and I'm using the shade Latte from Makeup Geek. I'm using all Makeup Geek um, shadows today for this tutorial, except for the main lid color, which I'll show you guys later. So then I'm going to go in with Makeup Geek's Cupcake, which is a nice dusty rose, and just putting that with a Real Techniques um, setting brush. I like it because it's like super fluffy and it's really nice to get into the crease just all over shadow and then I'm going to use the color this is a matte black in the shade corrupt and I'm starting to put that on the inner corners and the outer corners creating like a halo but I'm mostly using the corrupt shadow <music> So just gradually adding some black just to intensify it because you always want to start with a light hand and then increase it. I then went in with the same brush that we used in the beginning with the latte shade and I'm blending that out just to diffuse the black. For the next shade, this is a very shimmery satin shade. It's called Last Dance. I'm using that just because I wanted a little bit more purple into the crease. So I'm just going ahead and gradually add that and I went back with the Real Techniques brush just to blend that out so we don't have any harsh edges. So next we're going to use the Too Faced Glitter Glue. You can use any type of glitter glue you have and this is a shade that I was telling you guys about. This is a new Morphe Premium Eyeshadow and this is in the shade called Date Night. These are huge, huge pans and I think they retail for about 6 or $7. Very inexpensive. I like it because it has a shift of gold to it even though it's like a nice purpley color and again just blending that out so we won't have any harsh edges harsh edges i'm sorry all right so for primer we're using the kiko milano matte fluid and we have a couple of friends here don't mind them. I'm gonna do like a voiceover and talk through because I haven't done a talk through, and I'm gonna show you guys. I have a few blemishes, so this is a perfect time to show you how amazing the coverage is for the Milani foundation that has been going around, and we're gonna use that as foundation today. If anyone has any suggestions for these baby hairs to be tamed. I would have very much appreciate you very much. It's really thick, as you can tell. I'm gonna use a Real Technique stippling brush. I might use some Fix Plus on it, just to get it going. We'll see how one pump. I feel like this color is a little bit too light for me. Let's we'll see how it works out. Yeah, it's a little too light. I'm just gonna take a pump of makeup forever because uh, Milani is a little too light. For concealer, I'm using the Naked. I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. I am in the shade Medium Dark Neutral. In case anybody was wondering, or if anyone cares. And I'm gonna put that on my under eyes. I haven't used this brush in a while, so I shall use her to blend out concealer. I just set the under eye. I'm gonna use that same NYX banana powder under eye. And to set the rest of my face, I'm using the Makeup Forever Dual Matte Powder. Um, this is starting to look like my Valentine's Day tutorial, but I'm using different products, but whatever. 
So next I'm going to go ahead and bronze up the face with the Holy Grail, Holy Grail product from Kat Von D. I'm using that middle shade and I'm going to go ahead and with that darker shade just to chisel out that cheekbone. So I next grabbed my Morphe M327 brush, which is like a huge fluffy brush. It's so fluffy. And I'm going to blend out my bronzer and that contour and I'm going to fill in my brows a little bit with the Anastasia Brow Definer, which I have been currently really liking to fill in my brows. For highlights, Anastasia So Hollywood with a Morphe 310 brush. And I'm doing that on the highest points of the cheeks on the high arch of my brow bone and the cupid's bow and the bridge of my nose. For blush, I'm using Lovejoy and putting that on the apples of the cheeks. So I first laid on some Cupcake from Makeup Geek and then I went in with two more other shades, which is, that's Cupcake and then this is Last Dance and then the next shade that I grabbed was, a little bit was of Mesmerize just to deepen it up a little bit just because I want that lower lash line to be very accentuated and dark as well as we have it on the top. So next I use a darker shade called Mocha and I'm just doing that same idea. And I'm applying some mascara to prepare for falsies and adding some eyeliner to the lower lash line and smoking it out with a pencil brush. For lashes I'm using the Samantha Lashes from Blinking Butte which is my first pair of lashes that were very expensive but they're super fluffy and they're so like wispy and beautiful and dramatic. So this is the lip color that I'm using today from Black Moon Cosmetics. It's called Celine and it has another shift of like metallic gold in it so I just really wanted to use it and this inspired me, the lipstick inspired me to do this tutorial. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in another video. Bye.